the horrific crash in upstate New York, a deadly limousine disaster. 20 people were killed. Friends and family were celebrating a 30th birthday. The stretch limousine they were in plowing through a stop sign, hitting another car and hitting two pedestrians, killing them before landing in a ditch. Among the dead, the woman celebrating her birthday, Amy Steenberg, right there at the top with her three sisters, all were killed along with the family and friends. Tonight we've learned more about the driver, what we've just found out, and about the limo itself. It had just failed in an inspection and apparently should not have been on the road. ABC senior transportation correspondent David Curley on the scene in Skohari, New York tonight. Tonight, investigators of this accident that took 20 lives are concentrating on the limousine, the driver, and the small company called Prestige. The owner of the company had no business putting a failed vehicle on the road. The owner of Prestige has a lot of questions to answer. The governor revealing the driver was not properly licensed. The limo failed inspection just a month ago, and the company has been told to cease operations for now. The 2001 stretched Ford excursion blew through a stop sign at a T intersection, impacting with such force the engine block ended up in the driver's compartment with no signs of skid marks. Considering the impact and the speed limit, it seems obvious this vehicle was speeding. Well, I can't argue with that, but I can't agree with it either because we don't have the actual evidence for that. But I can tell you this was a high energy crash. The NTSB chair pointing out that this is the deadliest transportation accident since the Colgan air crash in 2009. It was to be a Saturday afternoon 30th birthday celebration for the youngest of four sisters, Amy Steenberg, who had just been married. You have showed me what true love is. I dream of us growing old and traveling the world hand by hand. I love you always. And just three days earlier, Amy again professing her love for her husband on Facebook. I love you more than words can say. All four sisters, along with three of their husbands, killed. According to the family, the group of 17 rented transportation to visit a brewery and other stops safely. Friends coming along, including Amanda Halsey. I'm empty. I, um, it's an indescribable pain. I have like no words for it. Um, never felt a pain like this ever in my life. Most extended limos, like the one in this incident, are not made by car companies. They are regular vehicles which are stretched, like the one in a 2015 Long Island crash which killed four women. In this rural area outside of Albany, a community struck by the whore, the 18 in the limo, two pedestrians all lost, and one family hit so hard. I had four nieces. They're all dead. They were in there. And David Curley with us live from the scene of that deadly crash. And David, so important to point out what you just reported there, that these limos don't come off the line this way. They're retrofitted afterward. And late today, you were telling us officials say they have recovered a key part of the vehicle that they call the black box. They're hoping it's going to provide crucial answers here. It's the airbag control module, David. It could tell the story of the last couple of seconds or milliseconds. And then as far as the driver, toxicology samples will be spent, sent to a very special lab in Oklahoma for testing. David? Just an awful story. David Curlier, thanks to you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.